What's going on? My name is Jerwin and today I'm going to finally answer your frequently asked question about how I learned Korean. Can I really speak in Korean or have I been in Korea? So basically this is all about me and the Korean language in general and, uh, and some other questions you have for me. Okay, so this video is kind of meant to inspire everybody. สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับอารอนสวัสดีผมชื่อเทอร์วินครับไมเพนไลไมเพนไลเทอร์มูมุยโตบอเซนอสฮอลเดมิคาเบซาเป็นโซเอ็มช
And if you want to learn about how to pass the EPS topic, if you want to fast track your Korean learning, and uh, you want some tips about learning this language, you want to know how to join our free classes in Korean, if you want to know how to get free books, learning materials, or reviewer, sample exam, etc. So start now by subscribing. There is a button there down below. Or you can also follow me on my social media account like on Facebook and I will put a link on the descriptions below so what I do is a lot of strategy video about uh, taking EPS topic and some motivation for personal development and uh, and a little bit of tips about how to improve your life in general so again if you are interested so consider hitting that bell button down there so you don't want to miss anything you know i was i was a quitter i'm really good at the beginning and then if something bad happens you know i quit yeah i quit even for no reason i just quit and started doing different something different which eventually i will quit again and again so the common theme here is i was never good at finishing something you know it's bad and uh, maybe I was a perfectionist. Maybe it was maybe it was just my excuse of being a perfectionist. Maybe not. You know. Currently, I have written three books about Korean language. So the first book was written in the span of five years, and because I was always this person who who wants everything done perfectly, and uh, so I have this hundreds of drafts on my folder. And I kept on rewriting it over and over again. And uh, every time I look at it, I found five to ten mistakes. Even I tried so hard, something wrong keeps showing up. You know, whether it's grammar lapses, uh, typo errors, misspellings, mistranslation, it was horrible. And uh, no matter how I work hard to make it perfect, it doesn't work that way you know it, it wasn't perfect by any stretch of imagination so just recently a year ago I just abandoned the idea of doing everything perfectly so my, my only goal is to write on this topic and then and then I'll, I will make a sub topic and uh, I will put a deadline every day so I will I will write a very small topic and I'll try to finish it before lunch uh, I will wake up early in the morning and I try to finish something. I know it happens to a lot of person. Maybe you are trying to write something. So you want to record a video and you haven't started it. You're having trouble to finish something because you want it to be perfect. So you want a perfect setup, you want a perfect lighting, a perfect location, you want a perfect intro. And you end up not doing anything at all. And uh, you know what? Trying to be perfect takes a lot of time and, and ends up not doing anything or not starting at all. That's the bad idea. So my point is perfectionism really holds us back, you know, until I realize that it will never be perfect. Until I realize that I just need to finish what I've started, you know. And uh, so I just, just a couple of months ago, I just write every day. You know, I, I abandoned the attempt writing a perfect book for for EBS topic. So I just write, I just write, and I made three books in just a few months of writing every day. So it's good. It feels good. So tuldok is something about completion. You know, getting it done. A period is located at the very end of every sentence to signify. That is the end of the sentence. It means you completed a sentence. You know, the ability to complete something, you know, to get it done, so finish something. Another question, so where is my hometown? Where is my hometown? I am full-blooded Mangyan from Concepcion Oriental Mindoro. Can you speak in Korean? So how did you learn Korean? Uh, yes, I can speak Korean, but I'm not good at it, you know? <laughs> Not, not smoothly enough to label as fluent, you know, no, no. Whenever I'm having a conversation in Korean, most of the time it's tubak uh, tubak. It's tubak tubak, you know, too many pauses in between. It might seem that I'm really good in Korean, you know, but it's not. You know, most of the time, 
I'm faking it, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to sound like I'm fluent, but the truth is, I'm not, not even close. Whenever I talk, I, I'm always trying to think of a word which ends up like I'm saying just a word for word or broken sentences, you know. Yeah, I can speak Korean. As I can speak Korean, you know, that's, that's my belief, I can speak Korean. I don't care if other people judge me, you know, if someone says I'm really not good at Korean. I, I don't really care, so yeah, I can speak Korean. Uh, 있잖아요, 그 나는 8년 동안 uh, 한국어를 가르쳤습니다. 어, 교편을 잡은 결과 국내에서 소백 명이 학생들을 학생들이 아 구하기 부스를 파는 일자리를 얻을 수 있도록 도울 수 있었습니다. 그래서 저는 또한 뒷부분에 시간을 모르여 가르치는 자원봉사 선생님입니다. 아그 어, 2011년부터 한국어를 공부하고 있었습니다. 또 한국에서 가본 적이 있었습니다. 한국에서 일했고 아, 한국어를 다른 학원에서 공부했지만 이전에 한국어로 말했는데 어려움을 겪고 있습니다. 아, 저는 한국 한국 문화와 그 사람들을 정말 좋아합니다. 너무 너무 좋아합니다. So I really love the Korean culture. Uh, I love Koreans. Uh, 한국 사람은 내가 만난 사람 중 가장 공수하고 진출하며 아 열심히 일하는 사람입니다. So they are the most polite, uh, kind and hardworking people I have ever met. 아 고기 찬아요. 어떤 대화에서도 한국어를 계속 사용하면 다볼수 있다고 믿어요. 음 그러니까 그냥 겁내지 말고 말해봐요. 한국말로 이야기 이해해요. 출려도 걱정하지 마세요. 음, 뭐랄까? 아, 출려도 걱정하지 마세요. 아, 누군가 바로 채는 것을 도와준다면 구조 말하고 감사해요. 실수해도 걱정하지 마세요. 대담하고 노력하고 인내하고 임무를 완수하고 성국을 이루는 사람만이에요. Just speak Korean and don't give a damn about anyone. Don't worry if your Korean is not perfect. You know, don't worry if you have an accent. Uh, don't worry if your grammar is wrong. You know, D don't worry if if your pronunciation is awkward. It's like learning to speak in English. You know, just speak, just speak in English. You know, don't be afraid to make mistakes. And uh, you're not trying to impress anyone. You know, you're you're not trying to sound smart. Remember, English is just another language. It's not a sign of intelligence. It's just a language. So just like Korean. And there will be this one person who will judge you. They will poke fun on your accent. They will point out how horrible your grammar is. There will always be those persons. So whatever you do in life, don't try to please everyone. Because it's an impossible task. You can't please everyone. Just try to speak in Korean and never worry about making mistakes. It is a matter of attitude. It's a matter of changing your mindset. As the as the saying goes, it's all in the mind. 저는 어, 실수를 하는 것이 두렵지 않나요? 많은 분이 제가 한국어를 어쩜 잘한다고 생각하시네요. 제 생각에는 지금은 한국어 교사인데요. Every mistake I made, someone will try to correct me. Some in a good way, some in a really bad way. Either way, I'm learning so much. So when someone tries to correct me. I'm really thankful for those people. You don't need to pretend that you don't make mistakes. You know, you will make mistakes. Everyone was once a beginner. They became so so good in Korean because they learned so much from their mistakes. Just try to say it in Korean. Just speak Korean. So, 근데 그건 또 아직도 많은 있는 뜻이니까 한국어 배우는 꽃이 없어요. 그런데 우리는 그냥 몇 단어보다 도출하고 싶잖아요. 그치? 한국어로 대화도 하고 싶고 내가 하는 말다 알아듣고 있어요. 오 진짜? 한국말 오래 공부해나 봐요. 저는 한국 음식도 사랑하고 한국 사람들도 사랑하고 한국 문화도 한국 문화도 사랑하는데 한국말 이렇게 배우는 게 많이 어렵지 않았어요. 언어를 배우는 가장 좋은 방법이 생각해요. So, 개인적으로는 
원으로 배울 때 그, 그 원을 많이 듣는 게 제일 중요하다고 생각해요. 아 어, 그리고 친구들이나 원을 하는 사람들이랑 눌룩하면서 그 사람들이 어떻게 대하는지 어, 실제로 사람들이 어떻게 그 원을 쓰는지 아 곡을 좀 틀어봐야 돼요. 아 매일 매일 열심히 공부해야 해요. Can I speak in other dialects? So I think so. Um, a little bit of everything. Um, my way, fig fig at taawamin, makastanga agaw, tani ka mo ngamin wagi. Marahay na aldaw sa indugabos, mga tugang, marahay na aldaw. What else? May paabak ke kamu kabalen. Uh, Omi kamu kaini, mitutu doremi. <laughs> Nalay nga agsao ti Loano, uray na uneg. Uh, na uneg nga abot. Na unig nga banaw, na unig nga tipang, ibagada nga na protekti iroplano kit marabyan mat, nga mat. Nagdakil dayta po, nagdakil dayta po sum kahapsan, you know, nagimas ti ok, nagimas ti ti okes ti kamatis, you know, agyaman ang kada kayo amin ti inkay panagboya gagayem, so. Just mabalo sa indang tabang. So, mabalo nga ta ni Kano ng amin suporta no. Mabalo nga ta ni Kano ng amin na suporta no. Uh, Nagatuon ko sang istorya sang Bisaya. So, maayong adlaw sa inyo tanan, mga, mga igsoon. Uh, Daghang salamat sa inyong mga tanan, mga igsoon. Ginatamiyaw ko tanan ng mga hilunggo o nami kaayo tikalon. <laughs> sa amo ng kwarta, ginapiko, ginapala, pero yung utang, winubuldos. <laughs> Paano mo nabalaan na ilunggo ako sa lihok-lihok mo? Sa pagsuksok sang bayo? Uh, paano mo nalaman na ilunggo ako? Sa kilos-kilos ba? Sa purma ba? Can I speak other language? Um, I can speak a little bit of uh, Spanish, Portuguese, um, Thai, <laughs> broken Chinese. <laughs> uh, other language, well I can handle basic conversation, just a basic conversation. I know basic phrases. But on a beginner level only, you know, let's try. Uh, hola, como te llamas? Mi nombre es Jerwin. Uh, me llamo Jerwin. Yo me llamo Fernando Alejandro. Uh, ¿Cuántos años tienes? Mm. E hey, tú, háblame un poco de ti. Uh, ¿De dónde eres? Soy de Filipinas. Soy de Filipino. Uh, ¿En dónde vives? Vivo en muchas partes. A qué te dedicas? A nada. Soy youtuber de tiempo completo. Mi hobby es aprender idiomas. Mucho gusto. Hola a todos. Uy, mi nombre es Erwin. Yo soy estudiante. Muy tu placer. Muy tu placer en conocerlos. ¿Cómo va? ¿Vos ahí? Yo gusto de vos ahí. Te amo mucho. Bose no salda mi cabeza. Penso MC todos los días. Te once Bose. El sus Filipinas. En el falo portugués. Y no entiende. Me da licencia. Repita por favor. Bose fala inglés. Quemar las pestañas agua pela barba. Muito obrigado. Sawat di krab, sawat di krab. Alu on sawat. Pomci Jerwin krab. My pen lai, my pen lai. Te amo muito. I have been teaching Korean language for eight years, and as a result of what I do, I was able to help hundreds of students to get a high paying job here and abroad in South Korea. I am also a volunteer teacher, spending most of my time teaching for free. I started learning Korean. Um, I'm now. I'm still studying right now. I'm still studying, you know. So I started on on 2012. So I, I passed the Hangul Gunung Yong Shiom on 2012, the best topic, and went to Korea on 2013. I, I worked in Korea and studied Korean at different Hangul. Uh, I really love Korean culture. You know, it's people. They are the most, like I said, they are the most polite, kind, and hardworking person I've ever met. You no, know, I really love, I really love Korean language, and I think Hangul is the most scientific, logical, and beautifully designed alphabet system in the world. As of now, my fluency level is not really good. You know, so I want to learn more. So I want to make friends with many Koreans and share them what I know about English and Tagalog as well. 
know, I want to be a good teacher or something. You know, I want to be an expert that others can rely upon. I wanted to teach them the beauty of the Korean culture and Korea as a whole. So I will never give up on learning every day. I don't know the best way para matuto kayo na magsalita ng Korean. Yan isa pa, kapag nag-aaral ka, yun kasi yung ano ko, uh, ang mindset ko kasi, para mabilis akong matuto or mabilis akong makakuha ng knowledge, ang iniisip ko lagi, pag may estudyante ako, iniisip ko lagi yung estudyante ko, 100% yung kahit sabihin natin na bago pala yung nag-aaral, sabihin niya, ay, ngayon pala ako nag-aaral. Pero, palagi kong sinasabi sa mga estudyante, yung pag-aaral ng Korean language, inihahalimbawa ko lagi sa pagbili ng bisikleta. So, dapat, majority, ikaw yung gagawa. Ikaw yung sasakay sa bisikleta. Hindi yung bumili ka ng bisikleta, ipapahiram mo sa kapitbahay mo, papanoodin mo siyang magbisikleta. Okay? So, iba yung nanonood ka lang sa binabasa mo sa libro or pinapanood mo sa YouTube kesa dun sa ikaw mismo yung gumagawa. Mas matutuwa ka, mas maintindihan mo pag ikaw ang gumagawa. Ganon din. So, kaya dito, may mga exam kami dito. So, sobrang dami ng exam namin, yung practice exam. Then, inia-apply namin din yung mga tips, yung mga tricks na, na, kung paano siya sagutan ng mabilis. Then, mas maiintindihan mo, yung paggagawin mo talaga, actual. Marami kasi gusto lang mag-aral sa messenger, gusto lang mag-aral sa Facebook. Wala, nag-aral sa Facebook lang, nakipagkwentuhan lang sa Facebook. Yung ano, yung ginagawa nila, nagpo-post lang sa Facebook, o aral muna tayo, hashtag ganito, hashtag ganito. Nakapost lang yung pag-aaral nila, walang kwenta yun. Dapat mag-aaral kayo actual, mag-aaral kayo dito, mag-exam, mga ganun. Uh, pag kasi nag-actual kayo nag-aaral, magka- ma- may mga magagawa ka na mali, ito, magkakamali ka sa ganito, magkakamali sa ganito. Then yung time na ganun, sa, sa pag marami kang mali, maitatama mo siya agad-agad. Mas maintindihan mo pag yung mali mo, mas magigets mo agad eh kasi pag na, na naintindihan mo na ah, ganito pala yon ganito pala dito ako nagkamali dito ako nagkamali kasi sa ibang school ang nangyayari pag ikaw kunyari sa school nag, nag-exam kayo nag-test kayo pag ma- ang marami kang mali ililabel ka as ah, ito bobo kasi ang daming mali ito yung ano top one ito yung ganito may mga first owner pa may mga valedictorian kasi ang ang exam nila ko oh, konting mali pero sa pag actual ka na nag-aaral, the more na nagkakamali ka, yung mga man, yung mga nagkakamali, mas mas long term yung yung recall nila, yung comprehension nila, mas deep yung understanding nila kasi naintindihan nila yung mali. Ah, ito pala para maging tama, ito pala para maging tama. Ganun. So ibig ang ibig kong sabihin, the more na nagkakamali ka, the more na mas tumatalino ka. Hindi yung ganun. Kaya baliktad nga isa eh, sa mga school sa ano pag marami kang mali parang level mo bobo ka pero sa toto sa totoong buhay the more na nagkakamali ka as long as natututo ka dun sa pagkakamali ko mas bumibilis yung antas ng pagkaalam mo sa pagkatuto mo ng understanding actually no nag-aral ako nun sa unang aral ko ng Korean kino compare ko kasi before nagtuturo na ako ng ng language eh so kino compare ko yung paraan ko ng pagtuturo then yung ako din as a student, kung naiintindihan ko siya, then nakuha ko doon yung sa mga karanasan ko, dahil uh, halimbawa, doon sa layong kinukwento, yung sa conjugation, sa conjugation, nung nag-aral ako ng conjugation, hindi ko maintindihan talaga. Ang alam ko lang, naiintindihan ko talaga yung hada. Hada, magiging he. Yun lang ang naiintindihan ko. Kaya nga, pag nag-exam kami, yun lang ang hinahanap ko, yung verb na may hada eh. Kaya dami kong mali lagi. Magalagi bagsak ako sa mga exam, sa mga ano. Kasi hindi ko maintindihan. Pero yung mga bagay na hindi ko maintindihan, pinilit ko siyang unawain, pinag-aralan ko, yung mga mali ko, pinag-aralan hanggang saan eventually natutuhan ko siya. Then, kung paano siya maintindihan ng mas madali. Ng mas madali. Mahalaga kasi yung input eh. Yung ini-input mo sa estudyante. Dapat kasi, uh, kung tinatawag natin na yung bite size yung ituturo mo sa estudyante. Yung madali, yung comprehensible, yung matituturo mo sa estudyante. Oh, halimbawa doon sa alphabet, ang ginagawa kasi ng iba, isusulat lahat ng alphabet sa blackboard. Hindi pa memorize. Dito kasi, iniisa-isa namin kung paano mo mamememorize yung letra, magagawa mo ng picture, then bite size siya. Step by step, kung paano mo siya matutunan. Ganun yung ano. Yan isa pa, kapag nag-aaral ka, 
Yun kasi ang ano ko, uh, ang mindset ko kasi, para mabilis akong matuto or mabilis akong makakuha ng knowledge, ang iniisip ko lagi, pag may estudyante ako, iniisip ko lagi yung estudyante ko na mayroon siyang alam na hindi ko alam. Yung ganun eh. Lahat naman ganun eh. 100% yung kahit sabihin natin na bago pala yung nag-aaral sabihin niya, ay ngayon pa lang ako nag-aaral pero meron niyang alam na hindi mo alam so hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na ay nagtuturo na kasi ako, mas mataas ako sa kanya mas mataas yung level ng karunungan ko sa kanya hindi palagi natin naisipin na meron siyang alam na hindi natin alam so in that way, hindi mo siya mamaliitin, magiging open ka then ipakita mo sa kanya na kasi eventually magkakamali ka may masusulat ka ng maling spelling Huwag mong sabihin na ano, huwag kang mag-excuse na ay nagkamali ng ganito. Kailangan maintindihan niyan, tanan na kahit teacher ka, nagkakamali ka na meron ka ring hindi alam. In that way, nagiging open ka sa kanya. Nagiging open ka na meron ka ring hindi alam. So, me, yung alam niya, si share niya sa iyo. So, managkakaroon ng sharing yung ganun. And then, pag kasi inisip mo minsan, yung kausap mo, mas magaling ka doon. Ay, mas magaling ako sa'yo. Ang tagal na ako nagtuturo ng Korean. Mas tagal na ako, mas mag, marunong ako magsalita. Ikaw hindi marunong. Eh, parang sinasaraduan mo na yung pintuan ng karunungan mo sa kanya. So, hindi siya magbibigay sa'yo. Kasi, ang iniisip mo, yung taong ito, wala akong makukuha dyan. Mas magaling ako dyan. Lahat ng alam mo, uh, alam ko na lahat dyan. And then, mas marami akong alam kaysa sa'yo. Hindi ganun. Mag- magkaroon lagi tayo ng mindset na ano, na wag maging mataas na kahit kahit beginner pa lang yan lalo na sa group chat lalo na ganun sa mga group chat eh porke ba pastor ka na ng Korean nakapasa ka na eh may mga bago pa lang nag-aaral parang ang taas ng tingin mo sa sarili mo hindi hindi natin alam na meron silang alam hindi natin alam 100% ganun yan kaya pero pag open ka lagi yung sinisim mo na ikaw ay teachable na kahit teacher ka pero tumatanggap ka rin ng turo mas marami kang matatanggap mas marami kang matatanggap na karunungan mas mabilis kang matuto ganun, ganun. Uh, sa pagsasalita ng Korean ganun alam nyo the best way para matuto kayo na magsalita ng Korean magsalita kayo and then wag kayong matakot na may mga mali na mali yung big cast na ganito kasi lagi may magtatama sa inyo yan Merong magtatama sa inyo, ay mali yung bigkas mo ganito. Merong magtatama sa inyo na rude, na parang masakit, na ganun. Pero, isipin mo, kahit na yung pagtatama nila sa inyo ay parang binabastos ka nila, minamalit ka nila, at least, isipin mo lang sa positibong, par- sa pananaw na positibo na, eh, tinama naman niya eh. Kahit niya, sinabi niya, ay bobo ka naman, hindi ka magaling mag-Korean. Pero at least, tinama niya. Yung, yung ganong idea na, huwag kayong matakot na, ano, basta, ang ang tanging paraan para ko kayo matutong magsalita ng Korean. Magsalita lang kayo na magsalita. Then wag niyo isipin na wag niyo isipin na ano na lang mo kayo maging mayabang, wag kayong na porke and matagal na kayong nag-aaral ng Korean eh ma, kayo na yung <laughs> na hindi na kayo matututo sa